Hello, my name is Angela Miyamoto and I'm a planner with Aging and Disability Services, a division of the Seattle Human Services Department and the Funding Process Coordinator. This is the 2023 Culturally Nourishing Foods for Older Adults Request for Proposal Information Session. This presentation will cover contents in the Request for Proposal, or RFP, guidelines and application, as well as tips to consider when developing your application. Here is the timeline. The funding announcement was made March 1st, and there will be two information sessions, one virtual and one in person. Last day to submit questions is April 3rd at 4 p.m., and the deadline to submit your application is April 12th at 12 p.m. noon. We would hold interviews May 1st to 12th, and we plan to notify applicants at the end of June with a contract start date of January 1st, 2024. Here are some of the RFP highlights. This RFP is funded through Sweet and Beverage Tax or SBT funds, as well as Seattle General Fund. We intend to fund a maximum number of proposals resulting in no more than 10 new contracts, and we may combine funds awarded through this RFP with other Human Service Department contracts. Only one application is allowed per agency, and if you partner with another agency, only the lead agency in the group will submit an application. Services must take place in Seattle or for Seattle residents. Initial awards are for the 2024 calendar year, January through December, and we intend to renew contracts through the 2027 program year, contingent on performance and funding availability. So who can apply? You must meet licensing requirements, Washington State Business License and Seattle Business License as applicable have a federal tax ID number or employer identification number, be a private nonprofit with 501c3 tax exempt status, in good standing, or a Washington state recognized tribe, or a public corporation or other legal entity in good standing. The Culturally Nourishing Foods for RF Older Adults RFP will fund services that nourish the mind, body, and spirit through the following strategies, food and meals, food access, and social engagement. The first strategy is food and meals, is for that coaching nourishing foods for meals that cannot be for food or meals that cannot be funded through other fund sources, such as Older Americans Act funds. Examples include, but not limited to, culturally tailored food, culturally tailored grocery bags, culturally tailored meals, and at least $100,000 will be allocated to delivered meals. Meal delivery programs are those that serve older people who may not be served by in-person community dining programs. The second strategy is food access, or transporting people to culturally nourishing food activities. So this strategy is intended to be a passenger service to transport people, um, not food. Transporting participants to culturally nourishing food activities or services such as food banks or meal programs. So examples of this are include hiring staff, purchasing ticket books, or, trans or, or purchasing or utilizing a transportation service. And the last strategy is social engagement, which are activities that promote older people to connect to each other that center on culturally nourishing foods. So examples for this include nutrition education, cooking classes, farm field trips, or cultural celebrations. Priority populations are older adults that are low income, immigrant or refugee, unhoused or unsheltered, and focused populations are identified as specific racial or ethnic groups within the priority population. For this funding opportunity, the focus population are BIPOC older adults, such as American Indian or not Alaska Native, Asian, Black African American, those of African descent, Hispanic or Latinx, or Native Hawaiian and Pacific Islander. 
applicant will work with their program specialist and a member of HSD's data performance and evaluation team to finalize the quantity, quality, and impact contract metrics. Examples are included in the RFP document. Your program must have adequate staff to perform your proposed activities. Staff and volunteers should reflect the communities and population served, provide culturally and linguistically relevant services, and have experience working with the priority and focus populations. If you are awarded a contract, you will need to collect client and program data and may be required to participate in an evaluation process. Each section of the narrative is worth various points. The proposal description is worth 35 points. Capacity, experience, and commitment to community is worth 35 points. Partnerships and collaboration is worth 15 points. Budget and leveraging is worth 15 points for a total of 100 points. Please answer the questions and use the rating criteria as a guide as this is how raters will score your application. Submit your proposal budget and personnel detail budget in Excel. The Excel workbook can be found on our website. So this is the website. If you click on the budget form, it will download. And then you open it up. And this is the Excel spreadsheet. Please, con keep, please complete the budget form as well as the personnel budget detail form. So there's two separate tabs and include this Excel sheet when you submit your application. You will also need to complete the summary of proposal deliverables, which provides information about your service, activity, population, location, time frame number of people you will serve, and number of units or activities you will provide. Let's look at a few examples. In this first example, this agency is proposing to deliver meals to seniors that cannot attend in-person or group dining. They would like to serve East African older adults in Seattle. They'll deliver meals Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock and serve a total of 50 people and duplicated 1,000 meals for the year. In this next example, this agency is proposing to transport Latinx Hispanic older people to the Produce Food Bank. They will do this every Monday, 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock, and serve 30 people over the course of the year. Overall, they will provide 200 rides. In this last example, this agency would like to take their Vietnamese and Chinese older adults on farm field trips to the Seattle farm. They will do this in the summer, June through August, and serve 200 people. They plan to take 10 field trips total for the year. You may propose to do more than one activity but please complete a separate table for each proposed activity. This is attachment five, the summary of proposal deliverables in the application. So here you see the examples that we just went over, as well as the separate tables that you will need to complete with your proposal deliverables. Please submit the following with your application. Sign cover sheet, narrative response limited to six page limit, your budget sheets in Excel, and summary of proposal deliverables. If you are proposing the following are optional, please provide a startup timeline if your proposed activity is a new service, a letter of collaboration if you are proposing a substantial partnership with another agency or individual, and a letter of agreement if you have a fiscal sponsor. Applications can be submitted online via our portal or email. Please choose either option and please do not do both. No fax, mailed, or in-person submissions will be accepted. 
applications must be complete and on time and it's due April 12th by 12 p.m. noon. If you submit your application online, stop uploading early in case you have an issue with connectivity. This is not an application, online application, so you can't save your work. There's a 100 megabyte maximum and it only accepts the stated file types. You will receive an email confirmation after you submit your application. Please email if you have any issues with uploading your application. When you click on the link, you'll find the following online form. Here's the online portal, and you can see here is the link to submit your application online. You may also submit your application via email. Attachments are limited to 30 megabytes. Please title your subject heading 2023 Kochi Nourishing Foods RFP. You receive an email acknowledging receipt of your applica application. After you submit your application, it's sent to the rating committee. Rating committee reviews written applications, then makes funding recommendations. Recommendations go to the HSD director, then agencies are notified. We'll also conduct interviews, which I'll go into detail on the next slide. Interviews will be conducted May 1st to 12th. The primary agency contact listed will be emailed to schedule the interview and you will receive interview questions once the appointment is confirmed. The interview is worth 100 points and scored separately from your application. Their interview and application is worth a total of 200 points. If you would like to appeal the decision, you may appeal based on two criteria. The violation of policies outlined in the HSD funding process manual, or violation of policies or failure to adhere to guidelines or posted published criteria and or procedures established in the funding opportunity. Appeals must be received within four business days from your award denial to notif notification and a written decision will be made within four business days of appeal receipt. If you're awarded funding, please be prepared to provide the following documents to move forward with the contracting process. So here are some tips to consider when doing your application. Be specific and answer all parts of the question and look at the rating criteria, as this is how the raters will score your application. Double check your numbers and please use the Excel template to submit your budget. Have someone else review your application and start early and allow a lot of time for the submission process as there may be issues with connectivity. Submit all required attachments and please do not submit any materials that's not requested with your application. Check the EPS website regularly as updates and changes could be made. Please send questions to me at the following email address, angela.miyamoto at seattle.gov. All questions and answers will be posted on the HSD Funding Opportunity webpage within five business days, and only written answers are official responses. The deadline to receive questions is April 3rd, 2023 by 4 p.m. Again, here's the website that holds the RFP information. Thank you for watching this presentation and have a great day.